Hey guys, I wanted to show you all on this little nose cone, the seal that I was talking about. Let's see if we can just pry it out of there. Part of it out. Oh, she don't want to come out. Try to take those grooves out of it real quick. There we go, finally. It's a little steel back seal. Oh, they're so hard to get out. That's something that we need to replace so that um, <clears throat> oil doesn't leak through your transmission and into your tunnel of your chassis. Other than that, I'm about to clean this up. I'm gonna put it on the transmission and probably go ahead and paint it. Be back. We are with everything taped off that I usually tape off. Kind of see how I like to do it. In here, I'm just going to show y'all kind of how to tape all these fasteners off. I just want to wrap it around about two or three times each on each nut. And some of them are hard to get to. What I'll do is take my little pick with a 90 degree bend on it. I'll use that to pull the tape around the, the edges or crevices, whatever I'm dealing with. Like on this one I'm about to do. And after you tape all the way around it, just pinch the top and I'll cover the stud up and protect the threads for you. Here we are after the paint. I think it turned out very well. This is a crinkle coat or excuse me, wrinkle coat paint. It is supposed to wrinkle up like that. I'm overall satisfied with it. This is the paint that we used. It's high temp. Maybe not necessary on the transmission, but it will be warmer than ambient air temperature most times. It's just their basic black paint. <clears throat> I don't know how many colors they make. And I'll right, be right back. All right, so y'all get to see me scraping the 
transmission and I talked about brushing it off and stuff. Uh, one thing that helps is while you still have it all together before you take it apart, use some engine degreaser that's not the foaming kind. Use it, brush it all in, use power tools, use whatever you have and wash it. Now I take it apart and I wash it and I do a final wash. I keep using that, it's a good product, it works very well. And then when I got my final wash done, I'll take some brake spark cleaner and spray the whole case top to bottom, then I'll spray it again and let it dry before I paint it. Other than that, taping everything off and spray painting it's pretty self-explanatory. And this is what you'll end up with if you do it like that. I do want to tell you, you know, I taped off these areas where like your bell housing bolts are gonna go. I prefer to tape those off so there's no chance of the paint breaking down behind the bolt and allowing any, any additional clearance. Make sure anywhere you have a bolt or like say a mount, you're gonna tape that off. And actually my mounts just broke off. They weren't any good, so I just left the plates on there. Pretty easy, didn't have to tape anything. And that's all I can think of. So, hope this helped you out. Hope you liked how it looked, I do. I'm like I say, I'm overall satisfied with how that turned out. And from here on, we'll be back on the transmission Monday, like I said, and maybe tomorrow we'll get to work on these axle tubes. The little shock mount on them. And I'm not sure if we're going to do brake drums or not. And that I mean, I'm not sure that we're gonna keep them. So I'm probably not gonna paint the brake drums and backing plates. We have a long ways to go, we'll decide on that later. Otherwise, I'll see y'all later.